hello. That was our alternative elephant reminding us that it's high time for a reality check. The vast majority of wildlife belongs outside. If you see them there, leave them there. If you come across an ill, injured, or orphaned wild animal, contact a professional wildlife rehabilitator immediately. If that's not possible and you are able to transport, take that animal to a veterinarian or an animal shelter, which should have contact information and maybe even a rehabber on staff. Do whatever you can to ensure a warm, dark, quiet environment. This means no loud music and no see-through containers. And please, don't let children or well-meaning adults play with the animals. What is considered play to a human is literally torture to a wild animal. So don't foil your own best intentions. This can lead to a condition called captive myopathy, which is often fatal. Now, if you do get to a wildlife center, whether it's multiple buildings or just a room in someone's home, you'll probably notice some subtle, and not so subtle, suggestions that you donate. People seem to think that because this work requires governmental licensing, that governmental funding comes with it. This is not the case. It is all out of pocket and it's wildly expensive, costing up to hundreds of dollars to get one small animal in condition for release. And if veterinary care is required, the costs just multiply. So why do people do it? It's a calling. And frequently the people who can least afford it hear the loudest call. Go figure. So please, give whatever you can. We're all in this together. But, and here I speak for the majority of wildlife rehabilitators, do not let a lack of funds prevent you from bringing an animal to safety. Nobody wants that. We want you to bring in the animal. We want to care for it. So don't be embarrassed if you can't donate. The fact that you've taken the time and gone to the trouble to get that animal to safety is cause to feel really good about yourself. All right. Now please, as we close, take out your cell phone, look up and enter the numbers of your veterinarian, your after-hours emergency veterinarian, your local animal shelter, and your closest wildlife center. You never know when you may need them, and you'll be glad you did. All right. Well, POTUS and FLOTUS, thank you, and that is one happy elephant. All right. Until next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.